Good morning, Grays Lake North. This is Mrs. Light. Um, for the next two days, we're going to be taking some time in each one of your classes to uh, go over um, our Alice intruder drills. Um, if you remember, uh, Alice stands for alert, lockdown, inform, counter, and evacuate. Now, these are not a specific set of steps that you would take. It's going to depend on the situation of where you're, where you're at in the building um, and what is actually occurring to know which one of these steps you're going to take. So in Alice, there are some things that we need to be aware of, obviously, is communication, how we get any type of alert out to you. You need to know where you're at um, in the building. So situational awareness is, is huge. Um, situational awareness is the ability to perceive, understand, and effectively respond to the situation that you are in. It involves understanding um, the circumstances and analyzing what do I do at this time. Um, so you want to make sure that in situational awareness is that you are you have a heightened sense of understanding and you are able to make good decisions. Alert is how we get alerted to any type of instance. So through your through communication, we have our blue point communication, which you will hear today and tomorrow. Um, we have PA announcements, social media, text messaging. However, in the event that we can't use the PA system, there are many other things that can alert you to know when to use Alice. Uh, you may hear gunfire. You may hear sounds of screaming. You may see people running. So again, that's just how we are going to be able to alert um, each other in the event of any type of Alice situation. How we inform of each how we inform each other is by letting any trusted adult or staff member know. Uh, again, if you see something or hear something that you feel could potentially be of danger to yourself or others, you need to say something. Um, all of you on the back of your IDs have uh, something called text to tip. Now that's one way that we can inform people of something that is not going well. In this event, if there is any type of active violent intruder, we would inform by calling 911. Um, if you hear of anything that maybe you heard a rumor that somebody has something in their backpack, um, you need to inform people. We need to know this so we can make sure that everybody in the building is safe. Um, one of the ways that we alert and inform is through our Blue Point system. Um, you have seen these throughout many areas of the building and the blue boxes are only used in the event of an armed intruder on our campus. Uh, the green medical boxes are for any life-threatening emergency and this will immediately inform our school nurse and a variety of other staff members to attend to that emergency. During today, again, you will hear what the blue point would sound like. One of the um, ALICE acronyms is evacuate, and this is one choice that you would have. If the communication and information given allows you to leave or evacuate the area that you are in to do so, do it. Leave any heavy belongings, objects, anything behind. Once you are out of the building, you would go to a safe spot. We do have a reunification site, which is blocks away, but is, it is an option for safety. If you drive to school, uh, we're going to highly, I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> we highly doubt that you would be able to leave campus due to the emergency vehicles that would be entering both areas. Our obvious choice would be to run to safety, run away from danger. If you are in a classroom that is on the first floor and you can escape from the window, um, you're going to use any object that you can to break the window to escape. Um, you know, today, and tomorrow with your teacher, come up with ideas or objects that you could use to break the glass. You would use that object in the upper corner of any window. You would not break it in the middle. Barricading. This is also another word for locking down. If you're not able to leave your classroom, um, you would have to barricade. If evacuation, again, is not the safest option, barricade, barricade any entry points into your room 
in an effort to create a barrier of entry. Using any heavy and obstructed view for objects in the room to block the entry is what you're going to be able to use. Another way to amplify the barricade is to use um, a fire hose. Each classroom is equipped with a fire hose sleeve that can be slid onto the door louvre at the top of the door. From the experience that we've used this louvre, this, this fire hose here, um, some, some of them are really tight to get on and they need a little, a, you know, a good pushing, a good nudge. Um, if you are able to practice, um, obviously people that are uh, taller in nature, this would be a good, good job for them to do in the event that you want to use this for your classroom to help with the barricading process. Last part of Alice is countering. When in close proximity to a violent intruder, you're going to want to create noise, movement, anything using distraction to reduce their ability to be accurate in anything that they're trying to do. Countering, again, it's not fighting back. We are not asking you to fight anybody. Countering, focus on distraction and controlling techniques to leverage the strength in numbers, the element of surprise. So today and tomorrow in each one of your spaces, I want you to look around the room and see what you could use to counter any type of intruder if that is an option. It could be your Chromebook. It could be one of those big metal water bottles that you guys all carry around. It could be a book. It could be a chair. So just, again, take the time, look around your room and come up with some ideas so you're, you're prepared. And the last point in all of this is that you have options. We're no longer asking anyone to go into a corner and hide. Um, we are training you to also use these techniques anywhere, anywhere in life. So anything that should happen, if you're at a movie theater, if you are in a grocery store, um, if you're going to get gas, like you know, all these different types of things, they, they prepare you for every day, not just for in a school. Um, I'm going to ask, you know, that if you have any questions for your teachers in the next two days, please ask them. This is important stuff, and we want to make sure that you feel prepared, um, that we all feel prepared. So um, those questions will then be asked of me, and I will get those back to all of you guys so you um, do feel a sense of security and safety because that is our number one concern here at Grays Lake North. Um, that is all for today, and we hope you have a great Monday. Thank you so much.